A long time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Ocean born under the dark burning light of Triloth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, only one has survived up to this day. Oh, it is getting late, kid. Return to me in the morning. scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Oceanhorn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Auru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird. The emblem of ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. 
emblem of ocean, is a relic of their long past glory and former power. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination.